What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys seven easy ways so that you can get robbed in the Philippines. Okay, guys, before we even continue to our video of seven ways to get robbed in the Philippines easily, please stop by philippinesjourney.com, take a look at our merchandise store, and at the same time, if you want to support the channel, just go ahead and buy me some coffee or just a bucket of beer, but even if you don't do any of that, do me just one quick solid, and that is to make sure that you like this video, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, make comments, ask questions, that's how we create videos such as this for you guys, and also hit that notification bell to be notified of any new videos that's coming up on a weekly basis. Let's go ahead and get started with this particular video. Listen, guys, I know for some reason some guys come to the Philippines and then all the critical thinking skills, all the street march just goes out the door because you go into this tourist vacation mode, which is probably the most dangerous mode to get into. All right. So I'm going to share with you guys seven different ways that foreigners are getting robbed in the Philippines. So in the first one in the list is the pickpocketers now typically the pickpocketers are going to be the children so it happens several ways they kind of storm they storm you try to ask for money begging someone's distracting you somebody's touching you here and then all of a sudden somebody is pickpocketing you behind you at the very same time as these kids are even trained to have these little blades what they do is they blade the bottom of your pocket in your back pocket and then they pull it down your wallet rather than pull up because it's easier for you to feel that stuff so how to be able to kind of avoid this stuff several things number one don't put your pocket don't put your wallet in your back pocket at the very same time as you also want to separate your cash from your wallet keep some money in the wallet and keep some cash in another pocket and the reason for that you want to keep it separate is because you want to try to limit the chance or limit the times that you're pulling out your wallet at any given moment okay so please make sure you separate those as much as possible another thing that you should do is always put your wallet in your front pocket and in addition to that stuff is this, put a really thick rubber band on to, to wrap around it. It creates more friction, so it's harder for people to pull it. And if somebody's trying to pull your, your, your wallet, you can actually feel the friction actually occurring. So make sure that that is one thing that you guys actually do. Another thing you can do, to be honest, but the thing though is if you got pickpocketed already, the last thing you want to do is go after them because then you might get more harm from that. Somebody might stab you, shank you, whatever happens. You know, I know a lot of guys, you can purchase wallets now. You can put the Apple um, GPS locator. That's one thing you can do if you want to do that. But at the same time as if somebody pickpocketed you already, just let it go. Let it go. This is exactly why I tell a lot of guys, don't bring all your credit cards in at, out at the same time. Make sure you keep that separate. Make sure you always have additional cash hidden in your uh, different security compartments as much as possible. That's one choice. You can definitely have another times that a lot of times guys gets pickpocketed. You guys don't even know about this. You guys get pickpocketed in the bars, right? Here you have a fine woman just just feeling up on your chest, giving you a massage. You think you're getting the full rub down. Turns out to be you got a different type of rub and tug because they rubbed that wallet and tugged it out of your pocket. So make sure you pay attention to that as well. So if a girl is giving you attention and you know for a fact that most men are not going to get attention from women easily that way. And if a woman approaches a man without you warranting that something is up, the bell should be ringing. Just like during Christmas, bells will be ringing. <laughs> so make sure you guys pay attention to that. So you do not get in trouble. Next one is, is what we call the tandem bike. So you guys are going to see a lot of people here, a lot of people in the Philippines driving these 100cc bikes. But for some reason, there's two, three people riding on this. So they have this thing called the tandem bikes where there's two guys that is riding the bike. And if you have your bag, so that's why if you have a bag, just have a backpack. It's a lot better. If not, you're going to see these guys just grab your bag and move on along and leave you behind and also pay attention to this stuff is just as it's called a tandem bike where two guys are riding the guy in the back will pull whatever you have and get out of there most of the time is they have another bike waiting in the back so if you try to fight those guys will get off and beat the crap out of you kill you even shoot you it's happened before 
It's ha it's going to happen again. So you want to make sure that you pay attention and you are alert at all times and you try to minimize the chances that you become the target of a lot of these things. The next thing is this is a tourist trap. It's called the Kalesa um, robbery. So a Kalesa is pretty much the horse and buggies. And so a lot of tourist places, the more Spanish feel, you're going to ride the Kalesa just to be able to have a nice, fun, you know, stroll along the boulevard. What you're doing is you are an easy target. So what happens with a lot of these different things, it happens a lot in the boardwalk in, in Manila, um, in Malata area. So what happens is if you ride the Kalesa, here you are riding the Kalesa. It's very slow. And then kids were very opportunistic. And what they're going to do is they're going to just jump in, grab your bag, grab whatever you have because your guards are down. You, you know, you don't have your backpack anymore. You put it besides you. Just keep it. If you have a backpack, just keep it in your back all the time or in your front. What happens is they just grab it and they just run. They just run. And what are you going to do? You can try to jump off the Kalesa and then try to chase them. It's over. It's done. You've been robbed. You've been dinged. So to be honest, just go ahead and stay away from riding these Kalesas. Please, gentlemen, just listen to me on this one. The next one is a taxi holdup. This happens a lot. So this is why one, one thing that I always say is if you're going to ride a taxi, just choose a taxi via grab rather than just hailing a taxi down the street. Just use your grab uh, app to be able to order a grab car or a taxi. Um, so a lot of times is also when you get into a taxi, take a picture outside. Let the driver see you taking a picture of um, the taxi number and you text it to a friend always, this is why I always suggest to a lot of guys, is to make sure you have what they call a travel buddy. Um, it just makes it easier for you. He or she knows where you are at all times and what's going on, just to, in case something happens. The next thing where a lot of people can get robbed at is at the airport, okay? Just because if somebody approaches you, asks you for if you need some help or anything like that, you don't even know that these guys are just waiting for you to put your guard down you just arrived in the philippines and then you're not paying close attention and then they take your bag you think that they're going to put it in the car but they just go and run with it so i want you guys to make sure you watch out for this one because there's a lot of opportunistic guys in the outside once you get outside the gates okay so don't you don't want to get robbed there as much as possible it's too early and at the very same time as i'm going to show another airport robbery airport robbery is a lot of you guys are going to get picked up by your filipina at the airport OK, and so you don't even know that the robbery is already actually happening because then they're going to take you to, for you to feed the whole family or she's going to slowly rob your ass and you don't get nothing later on. I'm just saying watch out for that stuff. The next one is money donation. So to be honest, there's going to be a lot of panhandlers asking you to donate money and all these things. And you are just a tourist. You just want to be kind hearted. You see somebody that actually needs some help. And then all of a sudden you want to be able to donate some money. Don't do any of that. That's pretty much another robbery. It's just a really light end robbery, I guess. So if you are going to give money, just give money to actually real communities, real organizations that actually exist. There's a variety of different ways that you can actually see if that organization is actually a good organization to donate to. So just take a look at that one as much as possible so that you avoid any potential problems that's actually happening. Okay. The next one that actually can happen is pretty much what they call the stranger in distress. Somebody's going to say, Tulong, Saklolo. Tulong or Saklolo means help in Tagalog. Or say, or they're, they're going to yell out help and then they're going to be in that little, you know, a side street or whatever that is. And then you want to actually help them out. Or somebody might try to gain your attention and be like, help, my kid is in danger. Please come with me. He come with me, please. Guys, listen, I know you guys want to be nice people and stuff like that. Just say no. Just say no to help. Be like, I'll call the cops. You go. But don't follow along because once you go around that corner, it turns out to be they're already ready to rob your booty. So, you know, stranger danger, guys. Stranger danger. The next one is. <laughs> the next one is. Your innocence is going to get robbed. I just want to be able to, I just want to be able to plug this one in. So what I'm talking about is, you know, all of a sudden here you are, I think you're with a woman and stuff like that. Then you go into the bedroom and all of a sudden it turns out to be a man. All right. So your innocence has been robbed. Don't get robbed of your innocence and end up with a tranny. So pay attention. You better be good at being able to pick up what this type of person is with their voice, the way they talk, the inflections, <laughs> the Adam's apple. And all those kind of things, right? So anyways, I hope this video kind of helps you guys out. 
I definitely want to make sure that you guys have a fun time in the Philippines and avoid any problems such as these. So just always make sure that you keep your eyes open, your ears wide as well, and you pay attention at all given times. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Really appreciate the fact you guys are here. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment as well. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us here in this channel. If you guys don't mind, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the content of this channel. And also, don't forget to enjoy one of our live or new videos coming on right here. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video or the next live session.